Hello, I'm Dr. Sunanda Kane, and I'm Professor of Medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. We're going to spend a few minutes talking not about females this time, but males, and in terms of fertility issues with medications used to treat inflammatory bowel disease. It's well known and well studied that medications used um, in women and their effects on fertility, but very little has been talked about in terms of men. So what do we know? There's been a recent review article just put out uh, about medications and in males, and so I thought it might be just worth talking about for a few minutes. There was a very famous article that came out now over 10 years ago about the effect of using 6-MP or azathioprine, also known as pyrenethal or Imurian in men and the potential effect it had on the offspring of those men using it and it turns out that that was a very small study and that that follow-up data to that did not suggest that there was any risk so unfortunately the first study is always the most famous and does not necessarily represent the truth and so I'm here to tell you that there are other things that are more damaging to sperm than staying on your azathioprine. And what would those be? So sulfazalazine for gentlemen who are on that for treating ulcerative colitis or their joint symptoms uh, with their ulcerative colitis or their Crohn's disease definitely affects sperm. It affects the, the, the number of sperm and then there also their motility. Methotrexate is still a little controversial. There are some data to suggest that it's toxic to sperm, but other studies that don't. So it sort of depends on how much you're taking and whether you can be off methotrexate uh, in order to try to uh, father a child. Certainly in women, methotrexate is absolutely contraindicated. But for men, it's not so much uh, that issue. We've already talked about uh, the imuran or azathioprine and how that is not damaging to sperm and that if that is helping your disease that you should stay on it because overall good health is important for sperm health. Steroids actually if taken at high doses for long periods of time may also be potentially damaging but again it's only potential and not a strong relationship has been seen. We talked about sulfazalazine, the other mesalamine products, so Lialda, Asacol, Laprizo, and the like, have not been associated with sperm issues. So if you are taking sulfazalazine, then we usually recommend that you be transferred over to one of the other um, medications. Interestingly, antibiotics, particularly Cipro, is associated with sperm damage. And so if you can get off of Cipro and be on a different antibiotic or on no antibiotics at all, that would be helpful. And then what do we know about the biologics? The biologics actually have not been shown to, to cause damage to, to sperm. And so we do not recommend that we st you stop that if you wish to father children. Two other things that cause way more damage to sperm are poor nutrition and then uh, also um, excess alcohol use. And then tobacco also, um, regular tobacco uh, is known to have toxic effects on sperm. So not necessarily medications unless it's sulfazalazine, Cipro, or high doses of steroids for a long time are the medications that are particularly of concern to us. The other medications, that if they're used to control disease, we do not recommend that they be stopped in order to father a child.